Joining us is Pet Doctors Rebecca Coote to look at the reasons we need to vaccinate our pets. Welcome back Rebecca. Thank you. First up, why should we vaccinate and what do we vaccinate against? Sure, so the vaccination is kind of two parts to it really. One which is a very important part is the health check. We're making sure from top to toe that your pet is well, looking for their teeth, their ears, lumps and bumps, listening to their heart and feeling their tummy, you know, checking about anything in their history mm. that might be worrying that we can, you know, look into a bit more. Um, if we pick up anything abnormal, we can jump onto that early. It's about trying to keep them well and, and you know, manage them into old age in a, right. a good state. So that all happens when you vaccinate that's them. That's right, well. that's right. And it's a lot of people think they're just coming in for this jab, but it's actually really much more about the health check. And the vaccines also are important. So we vaccinate against things that are preventable with the vaccines. And there's a lot of real nasties that we've got in New Zealand. Um, parvovirus is one for dogs mm -hmm. that we're vaccinating against, for example, that is deadly for some pets. And quite topically, the K5 strain of the Khaleesi virus that's coming up for rabbits. So, you know, keeping up to date is really important. Because there are a lot of people with bunnies as pets now. They're very they popular. They are. They're really popular. They're great and they're just as smart as dogs. A lot of people underestimate them. What about cats? <laughs> cats, yes. So cats, there's two main vaccines that we do in New Zealand. One is the cat flu sort of core vaccination. So definitely if you're going away over Christmas and Easter, you'll need to make sure they're up to date so they can stay in catteries. And another one that is maybe, sorry, less known about is the feline AIDS one. So if cats are going to get bitten in their travels outside. Um, if their cat that bites them is actually infected with AIDS, then they can get infected with it. So vaccination can help prevent that, which is great. Wow. Yeah. And you can't actually keep your kitty inside either, because I've just got a kitten, so I'm very interested in all yes. this. Yeah, and some people do keep them inside, but in New Zealand, I think we more traditionally have a bit of an indoor-outdoor mix, and our cats are a little bit more free-roaming. Mm, I think yeah. ours is climbing the walls, <laughs> wanting to get out. He's only out. nine weeks old, he's <laughs> desperate to get out. Yes. Uh, so how many vaccinations do they need, uh, and when can you take your puppy out for walks and socialising? Sure. So they're not fully protected until 10 days after their last baby shot, which is usually between 14 to 16 weeks of age. And it depends on when they start as to how many they get. They normally start somewhere between six to nine weeks of age and have them every three to four weeks as boosters. So you'll get, you know, reminded as to when they're all due. And, you know, that time over that period, we don't want our dogs to just be locked up and not be socialised. Mm. So things like puppy preschool is a great way to have a low risk social experience for them to learn some good manners to play nicely with others. Yes, and they do need to do that. They do, yeah. <laughs> they do need to do that. Mm -hmm. So I've been hearing a little bit about this new rabbit virus, um, yes. that's the spread of it, or well, the release of it that's happening soon. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure, so that's a control of our wild um, population that's having pretty devastating effects around New Zealand and the environment. And it's the K5 variant strain of Khaleesi virus. So for our pet rabbits, obviously we don't want them to be affected mm. by it. So vaccinating those rabbits and making sure they're protected is really important. The release is happening at the moment, so that it's scheduled for the end of March through till the end of April. Okay. And it takes about 21 days for that vaccine to have you know, a full protectiveness built up. So it's really important that people get their rabbits in what as soon as possible. What happens if you are you're saying, well, my rabbit's not gonna be in contact with wild rabbits, you still right. need to do it? So it is important because flies are one of the number one ways that they can act as vectors okay. or transport of that disease so the flies that might land on a, a you know affected wild yeah. rabbit could then jump on your bunny exactly so there are a lot of control measures other than just vaccination but vaccine is the most important way to protect now tell me a little bit more about the pet doctors vac for life program what are the yeah. details of that great so it's for dogs cats and rabbits as we just said they need it as well it is a one-off price that you pay, so 295 to protect them for their whole life of vaccination. So that's your coming in for your annual health check as well as whatever vaccines they need on that day for their entire life. And for dogs, you'd normally pay that amount over about three years anyway. So yeah. really, really good value. Wow, that is good to know. Yeah. As I'm a new owner of a little tiny, yes. tiny, little, tiny kitten. OK, well, that's great. great. But um, people need to get their bunnies in too. As soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining us. Always very enlightening. <laughs> and as you heard how important it is to vaccinate, so make sure that you do have your pet looked after for life with Pet Doctors Vac for Life program for your cat, dog or your rabbit. As we mentioned, only $295. It's available in clinic and also online at petpost.co.nz.